Hello everyone. This is my first live I've done on Facebook in a really long time. I can't actually remember the last time I've gone live on Facebook. Uh, I was just gonna see if I get some questions or just talk a few minutes about my new show on Netflix called Country Comfort. Um, it is uh, a show that we started shooting during the pandemic, or sorry, right before the pandemic, about over a year ago. We did four episodes. Um, Michael Truman is watching. Hello, Michael. I love when it tells me people's names. Um, yeah, we started shooting the show in February, I believe, and we started hearing grumblings about this thing called a pandemic. And then uh, we shut down after four episodes. It was a really, really great experience. And then we got to come back. Richard Schultz saying hi. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, we got to come back um, after about six months. And it was just like, honestly, a dream come true. I think everyone was so happy just to be back working, um, being grateful for a job. And I know I was. And then we had to do a very different type of style of shooting. It was, um, my showrunner is actually texting me right now um, from the show. But yeah, we had to wear masks and all kinds of protocols and um, uh, no live audience because this is a sitcom on Netflix. So um, I'm curious how many people on my Facebook page actually even know about this show or even um, have even, well, we have even I know we haven't posted about it. So I'm wondering if there's like a whole slew of people who've never even heard about this show. Um, so that's why I'm going on here to spread the word. It's called Country Comfort. It stars me, uh, yours truly, and um, Eddie Cyprian who plays, uh, well, let me tell you a little bit about it. Basically I play, let me switch characters now. I play a little girl named Bailey Hart. She uh, has a lot of heart and uh, not a whole lot of, uh, well, let's say she's not that tactful with certain things. She is in a band with her boyfriend, Boone. For about nine years, they've been together and then they decide to gracefully kick her out of the band and replace her with a more younger, more beautiful, blonder, uh, lead singer and she is completely distraught. She gets into her car, she starts driving, her car breaks down, there's a huge storm happening and uh, there's people texting me, I'll just turn that on, silent. Um, and she arrives at this ranch, she breaks, her her car breaks down right in front of this ranch and so she knocks on the door, there's wind, rain and the door opens and it's this really cute kid named Tuck and he is one of five children, I think five or six kids, there's one, three, four, five, yeah, it's three. Yeah, five kids. Um, and they uh, lost their mom two years ago. And they think that this is the girl at the front door, me, is the new nanny. And she is like, no, no, I'm not the new nanny. I just need to use your phone. And uh, she then realizes quickly that this might be a job opportunity. The dad walks in and, um, why is Lindsay calling me? <laughs> Lindsay's calling me, let me answer that. <laughs> the dad, walks in and thinks she's the new nanny too. And so she decides to take the job and she's still pursuing her, her music career. Let's be honest. That's the whole fun of this show is um, that she really wants to be a country star, but she's ended up being a nanny. So it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys will watch it. And um, I know there's a lot questions. of, I don't know if there's any questions on here. I have a lot of, I see some Scorpion fans. Um, I love my Scorpion fans. You guys are so loyal. Uh, there's so many episodes with Scorpion. That's like something that would take, I feel like, ages to watch that, to binge watch that. Um, someone just said, I binge watched the whole season of uh, Country Comfort and loved this it. One so this hours. one you can watch in like two hours. It's very, very easy to watch. It's fun. You can watch it with your kids. You can watch it with your husband. Um, Grigor, who's like, what's his, what's Grigor's last name? The famous tennis player. My husband's friends with this like top 10 tennis player. And... I was so amazed. He's sitting in Monaco and he calls us and he said, I just watched Country Comfort. I loved it. I was like, wow, we've got a famous, we've got a famous tennis player who's watching Country Comfort. So it really spans to all different kind of demographics and walks of life. It's just a really broad, a broad show. I've got people saying hi from Mexico. So anyway, you can stream this on Netflix now. I think in almost any country, uh, you, my, my brother-in-law is French. He lives here in LA with, with us, but um, he speaks French and he actually streamed the whole show in French and he, he was laughing the entire time. I think it's actually funnier in French because maybe just seeing me speaking in, Fran in French is a little bit uh, comical for him. Do you have any questions on there? I have a couple of questions. Um, are we ever getting the soundtrack? 
I know this, this is like such a bummer, but Netflix didn't do a deal where they were going to do an, a, a soundtrack. Like I was talking to my showrunner about this, that they should absolutely do a, a soundtrack for season two. If we get a season two, spread the word. Um, because there's so much good music on the show. So this show has a lot of music in it and um, it's all set in kind of country land, like country music, but it's super fun for me to do because I don't have roots in country music, but I, even though I love it, um, that's where like the actor in me comes out where it's like I get to play not only a different person, but I get to play a different type of singer. So that's, that's a huge, huge plus for me. Um, when will you and David perform again? Ugh. When will we perform again? When this pandemic is finally over. I've been missing doing live shows so much, doing concerts for people um, and doing Broadway. Even our show, The Baby is Great. Thank you for asking. He is so cute. He was crying a little bit earlier when I was doing my live Instagram and some people were thinking that I didn't have somebody taking care of my baby, which is, I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, he's totally fine. He's so cute. He's sleeping right now. Um, what was I saying before that? Don't remember. I don't remember what I was saying. Other questions? Yeah, I, I, um, ask away. In the scene where you sing My Girl, the horse really laid out oh, the entire time. That's a good question. So in episode, I don't know what it was, six or something like that, we have uh, the family horse, which is, her name is My Girl, and the horse gets really sick. And they said, it's pretty incredible, this horse had to lay down on uh, in, in the barn that we, the, not a real barn, it's like the man-made barn for this, the set. Man. Okay. It's a set. We get it. We, okay, God, be quiet. Um, yeah, the, the horse was really well trained, but we had to be very careful because anything could spook this horse. And the kids were obviously very close to this big, big horse. Um, and they were multiple takes where the horse would just get up out of nowhere and we had to kind of quickly step back. But the kids did really great with that. Um, and yeah, it, it took a while because with when you're working with animals and children, it just takes a little bit longer. You know, their, their attention span's not quite the same, but the, the kids are incredible actors. Somebody commented, I love the episode with Leanne Rams. Yeah, Leanne freaking Rams. She is so great. I was a fan of hers, um, still a fan of hers, but when she first hit the scene, I remember being like, wow, this girl is incredible. When she's saying, blue, oh, so lonesome for you. Does everyone remember that? When she hit, hit the scene, like with that amazing song and her voice. And, um, and then I've, you know, followed Eddie and her their relationship they just hit their their 10 year anniversary and it was just so cool to have the both of them on set together they're a really lovely couple and she's just awesome and she and it was so cool too because at the same time she was doing uh what's that show um the masked singer she was doing masked singer and um I people were texting me and saying are you the girl doing the masked singer I'm like no, that's not me. That's clearly Leanne Rhymes. And then a few weeks later, she was on our show. But it wasn't revealed yet whether it was her. And I knew it was her because I just know her voice so well. There was no way it wasn't her. Her voice is so distinct. So, um, yeah. There's a, she was on our show the same time she was doing Masked Singer. One more question. Somebody asked, how family friendly is this show? Oh, it's super family friendly. It's uh, like there's a lot of little jokes that if you thought maybe it would be inappropriate for a kid, it would go like way over their head. It's not nothing inappropriate. It's just like strictly a great family, family fun show. Um, I just discovering new TV show called Scorpion. Mm -hmm. uh, totally. Addicted. I don't think it's on Netflix though. That would be great <clears throat> if it was, but I don't think it is. Think it is. Oh, really? Scorpion. Oh, don't get any residuals for that. Um, <laughs> not in the U S though. <laughs> not in the U S. Yeah. It's, we have a big following in, in, uh, overseas, but, um, what was I saying right before that? I have no train of thought. Do you have, do any of the kids know they don't have a natural Southern accent? They all had to work on it and learn it. And um, I did a show on Broadway called Waitress and my character has a Southern draw. So I was already kind of primed to do the Southern accent, but the kids really had to work. I mean, we all had to work hard at it. Um, anyway, so that's, I love seeing all the comments. I love seeing some fash, some Smash fans, some Scorpion fans. Isn't that crazy? It's Smash, Scorpion, and then I finally have a show. <clears throat> What's going on with my voice? Um, I finally have a new show that doesn't start with an S. Will we so, get a season two? We might get a season two. We have really great numbers. They're giving us like two more weeks. I don't know why they haven't told us yet. They, um, I know Netflix is super, super excited about the show. They love it. They would love for us to get another season. They haven't really revealed the numbers. So, um, but if you watch, but if you watch we might, 
we might get some more. I don't know. I think we have really good numbers, but I think we need some more people to spread the word. So um, fingers crossed that we'll get a second season. I would love it. <clears throat> what is happening to my voice? It's great to be here with you guys. Um, thank you for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.